Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is 54 in my IGCSE exam question series, and this is on completing a square. If you do find it useful, please do like and subscribe, and let's get into the maths. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to assume you know how to complete the square. If not, then please check out my uh, IGCSE video where I go through every single topic and explain every, every topic in detail. Uh, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to look at this really important term of the quadratic and we're going to half it. And that is why I write minus 3 inside the bracket because it's half of minus 6. And then I always take away and then whatever that value is again, that minus 3, I have to square it. And then I add on the 10 which is left over. So this will give me uh, minus 3 all squared is 9, so it's minus 9. Uh, because that minus doesn't change. And then minus 9 plus 10 is 1. So plus 1. The next question says, describe fully the single transformation that maps the curve with equation y equals x squared onto the curve with this equation. Well, we go from x squared to x minus 3 squared plus 1. So x has been replaced with x minus 3 and that means that we it's translated to the right by 3 and we're plussing on 1 which means we translate up by 1 so this is the translation that completes that graph transformation okay next question is just a classic complete the square so uh, we've not got we've got an x squared term here more than one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three outside, and I'm going to factorise so that I've got an x squared inside, and taking three away uh, out of twelve gives me four. But I'm going to keep the plus seven on the outside, and this inside can be uh, we can complete this square. So. Again, the most important term is the b term, or the term uh, multiplied by x, which is minus 4, and we half that. So that's why I get x minus 2 squared, and then take away that minus 2 squared. And we've still got this 3 on the outside and a plus 7. So this is going to give me x minus 2 all squared, and then we're going to take away minus 2 squared is 4, so we're taking away 4. And again, we've got a 3 and we've got a plus 7. Okay, expanding the brackets, I could times both of these two things by 3, which is going to give me 3 lots of this squared bracket, minus 12, because 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, plus 7. And minus 12 plus 7 is minus 5. And we're done. Okay, the next part says um, the line L is the, the line of symmetry of that curve. Using your answer to part A, write down the equation of L. Well, we had a quadratic um, which will look like this. Uh, a U-shape. And the minimum point right here can be found by making this bracket in here zero. Because a square bracket can never be negative. You can never get a negative number after you've squared something. So the smallest this blue bracket can be is zero. And the x value that makes it zero is two. So x equals two will then give me 0 in this blue bracket, so the y value will be minus 5. But more importantly, this is going to be the line of symmetry. Down that line there, and that is a vertical line, um, x equals 2. Okay, next question, and we have a, um, a negative x squared. And I'm going to write it uh, in this this way round because I think I'll find it easier and again we've got um, not a 1x squared but we've got a minus 2x squared so that's what we're going to take outside the bracket a minus 2 which is going to leave me with an x squared 
a minus 6x, because minus 2 times minus 6 makes plus 12, and I'm not going to take the constant term inside the bracket. This is the most important term. We half that, and that's going to give me minus 3. Like that. And all of that is minus 2 and then plus 5 there. So I'm going to get here x minus 3 squared, and this is minus 9. Then I'm going to expand these square brackets. So I'm going to get minus 2 times by the x minus 3 squared. I'm going to get minus 2 times minus 9 is plus 18. And plus 5. And plus 18 plus 5 is plus 23. Um, very good. And it just wants me to write it this way round with the constant term at the front. So I would get this. Okay, slightly tricky question here. Again, you've got a negative x squared. So I'm going to write it so that the x squared is at the front. And um, I'm going to take out a minus 1 outside the bracket. And this is going to give me an x squared inside here. And it's going to give me a plus 4x here. And I'm not going to take the constant term inside. I'm then going to uh, complete this square to give me x plus 2 squared minus 2 squared, which is the same as minus 4. And then I'm going to expand these brackets. I'm going to get a minus times by this square bracket. Minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. And then plus 7 as well. And plus 4 plus 7 is plus 11. So I'm going to get 11 minus x plus 2 all squared. OK, the next part is tricky. It asks you to use part A to solve this equation here. And you'll notice that um, this equation is the same as this one. We've just replaced the x's with a y plus 3. So all I'll need to do is take my um, expression here, which is the same, and replace the x with a y plus 3, and set it equal to 0, because our equation is equal to 0. OK, great. This gives me 11 minus y plus 5 squared equals 0. I can add this bracket to the other side to make it positive. The whole of the right side is squared, so I can reverse that process by square rooting. And square rooting the left gives me plus or minus the square root of 11. And then I can minus 5 to both sides. So I have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 11. And the next question says, um, the curve has equation 3 minus 5x plus 1 all squared. The point A is the maximum point on C. Write down the coordinates of A. Well, the maximum point will be found when I take away as little as possible. And the square bracket here can never be negative. So the smallest it could be is 0, and that will happen when x equals minus 1. And if that is 0, then the y value is just equal to 3. And that is the maximum point we can achieve. We've got a quadratic in terms of um, Q and we have uh, something it can be written in terms of A, B and C. So perhaps the easiest thing to do here is to expand this one and then compare how it looks once it's been expanded. Uh, it's much easier to expand than it is to uh, complete the square. So let's start off with this part first, X minus C squared. 
That's the same, of course, as x minus c, x minus c, which is x squared minus an xc minus another xc, so minus 2xc, uh, or perhaps I'll write cx because x is actually the variable and c is just a constant. And then minus c times minus c is plus c squared. Okay, um, so now if I do a minus b lots of what I've just worked out, then that's the same as a minus b multiplied by x squared minus 2xc plus c squared. So this is going to give me a, and I'm going to get a minus bx squared. I'm going to get a plus, because two minuses, and a 2bcx, and I'm going to get a minus bc squared. Okay, great. So let's write all of the terms which has no x in it first. So an a minus bc squared. The term which has just an x, and then the term that has just x squared. And let's compare that then to q plus 12x minus qx squared. Okay, so now we have the constants. We have the x's and we have the x squareds. And these should all line up perfectly. So straight away I can see that b must equal q from the green box. So b must equal q. Um, and then from the blue box that tells me that 2bc must equal 12. I know that b is q already, so 2qc must equal 12. So c must equal uh, 12 divided by 2q, which is the same as 6 divided by q. So c is 6 over q. And then finally, I can look at the yellow box, and that tells me that a minus bc squared is the same as q. Um, we know that a minus b is q and c squared is going to be 36 over q squared. So if I square that fraction of c, I square the numerator and the denominator, so I get 36 over q squared. And that's equal to q. Okay, so we get a, let's simplify this, because we've got q times by something over q squared, so we can cancel out q and cancel out the squared on the bottom. So this is just minus 36 over q. And then add that to the other side, I get a is equal to q plus 36 over q. And I think that is good.